be testing a um, disk source of polonium-210 from Spectrum uh, Techniques in Oak Ridge, uh, Tennessee with our Ludlum Measurements Incorporated Model 3 survey meter with the attached uh, Model 449 uh, detector. We'll take a closer look at the uh, polonium-210 disk source. So this is the uh, polonium-210 disk source dated October 2017, 0.1 microcuries. Polonium-210 has a uh, half-life of 138 days, so it's a sh relatively short-lived uh, decay daughter of uh, uranium-238. Polonium-210 eventually decays down to uh, lead-206, becomes uh, inactive. Polonium-210 is one of the most uh, deadly substances or elements on the planet, isotopes I should say, uh, hundreds of thousands of times more toxic than hydrogen cyanide. One gram of this material can kill 50 million people, estimated. Of course this disorse is a whole lot less than that and it's perfectly safe because it's enclosed in this uh, capsule, plastic capsule. This is the actually exposed side of the uh, disk source. Ener uh, it emits high energy uh, alpha particles. Um, polonium-210 consists of 84 protons and 100 126 neutrons. That's the atomic structure of polonium-210. So we'll go ahead and take a couple of readings of this and see what polonium-210 does to our to our meter. Move our probe, rather our detector. Don't know why I call it a probe. Check our battery. Showing good for battery. We'll start off on the uh, 0 0.1 scale here. Reset our instrument. And let's get a uh, reading off of our polonium 210 disk source here. Alpha particles don't travel very far through the air, just a few centimeters. But a uh, short distance away from the disk source, we're off scale, so we know that we're over, over the uh, rate of 660 counts per minute. Well off the scale. So let's try our times one setting here. The times one setting. We're going to read up to uh, the, the top of the scale will be 6,600 counts per minute. So let's get close to our source. And we're immediately off the scale, short distance from the uh, polonium 210. So let's reset our meter, go up to the times 10 scale, which will read up to about 66,000 counts per minute. Picking out in immediate proximity to the disk source about 24,000 counts per minute. So let's try something here. Look how quickly the uh, meter falls away the further the pancake gets from the source. So let's place the source on the table here. This is a sheet of uh, regular typing paper. Get back close to our source again. And we're a um, short distance away from it, showing a little under 20,000 counts per minute. But let's insert this piece of paper between the alpha source, the polonium 210, and the model 449 detector. Well, look at that. The sheet of paper, the thin sheet of typing paper, 
is either entirely or almost entirely cutting off the uh, stream of uh, alpha particles from the disk, for disk source to the uh, detector. To remove the uh, paper and the count rate goes right back up again. We're hovering around 20,000 counts per minute there since we're on the times 10 scale. Put the paper between the source and the detector again and we cut off the stream of alpha particles. The only thing we're picking up more than likely is uh, the normal background uh, radiation. So that's a demonstration showing that alpha particles can be stopped by uh, very thin materials, paper, thin sheet of plastic, certainly any type of uh, metal plating. Alpha particles only travel a few centimeters in the air to begin with. Even though this is one of the most deadliest substances on the planet known to man, it's entirely safe being contained in this uh, protective uh, plastic disc and it's polonium 210 is especially dangerous if it's inhaled or swallowed or uh, introduced into the human body through any type of a uh, cut on the skin the main demonstration here being that a sheet of paper can cut off a stream of uh, alpha particles so this is completely safe outside of the human body, completely safe to handle. And we'll take one last look at it. So that's the one inch disc source. And that's the actual source right there, the small opening, small window in this plastic disc. Thank you for watching.